Hello everyone and welcome back to the last part of our apocalyptic bat trip. Um, here we are on the on the Tyranid deployment side again. That freaking uh, Eldar flyer actually has strength D blasts now. I didn't realize they have the D sides. Pretty nasty. The Chaos Knight was back because of one of the demonic acids that allows him to um, bring back one friendly demon unit, and uh, Chaos Knight is a demon unit, so that's actually a legal move. Kind of nasty, but it's apocalypse, so <laughs> no and nothing is nastier than the freaking uh, Catan over here. It actually hits both the super heavy tanks, so he actually blows up the Bane Blade. Um, even though that Skitari dude was repairing it, but he only repairs like one hull point, I think, a, a turn. Uh, and it's just not enough against uh, <laughs> all the strength D that was going on here. So back on this edge, um, there's some close combat all along the, uh, the table edge here, it's pretty cool. Uh, Termagant's tanking the Eldar and the Space Marines uh, pretty well. And speaking of which, the uh, <laughs> the Hormagons who were left uh, charged uh, Robot Gulliman and actually held him there for um, pretty much the entire game. Uh, same with most units here. I finally killed the Terminators, I think. Um, and uh, the Dreadnought and the Swarm Lord had a whiff fight that was kind of boring. But uh, Hive Tyrants in general have a really hard time killing vehicles. <laughs> Even with Adrenal Glands, they might not actually get it. There's, uh, there's our uh, Astra Militarum player. He has a really nasty tank list, but unfortunately he got the on the wrong end of the Catan in this game. Also, I think he actually deployed more of a standard. Astro Militarum list. Space Marine Flyer were actually ho hovering on our objective there, um, trying to hold it and just jink like there was no tomorrow. But I think we brought him down eventually. There's three multi meltdowns behind him. Here's some pizza and Chinese food and stuff. Because we had lunch. I'm sorry for the mess. <laughs> Back here, um, that Stompa is having a field day with a, that hovering flyer in front of him. <laughs> I'm not sure what they, why they're putting blasts on the. It might be the vortexes that scattered that far, eventually. Uh, it's, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> or maybe um, Chaos player actually put down more vortexes. I'm not, I'm not sure where those. If that's them. Some stern guard there by our objective, and that uh, did not. Um, trying to make a move on our objective, but I don't think they got very far. The Chaos Knight is now accompanied by an en energy drink on his right. That's that's lovely. My carnifexes were really nasty as they were a formation of five, but all of them were in a separate brood. Um, so they could just do the flame storm and then charge uh, different targets basically and only the guy who fired the flame storm had to sh attack the sh target he shot Gilliman still stuck with the hormagons on turn 3 here we're holding their objective on that end um, Gitan got charged by a lot of stuff just to stop him from flame storming basically um, they had no real chance of killing him, even though they tried. <laughs> I would have been a pretty epic fight. Just close combat, raging along the center line here on this end. Dreadnought down on one hull point. So annoying. I charged him with the, the colored uh, Carnifex there in the back and finally finished him off. And the gray one, uncolored one, uh, was in two pieces. <laughs> uh, he killed the Wraith Lord. Charging it, and the and the other one charged the um, Eldar tank, and took it out. That Stompa is looking really happy about being so close to our Wraith Knight. That's weird. Let's see here. 
Abaddon looking to take that objective from the Eldar. I think he succeeded. Uh, my Devil Gaunts got shot by a Valkyrie to pieces, only three of them left. Unfortunately he didn't kill all of them, otherwise I could have brought them back, which would have been really useful. So just a flyer still there. Um, might have not gotten into our shooting phase yet. There were some mutilators up there too, so... The Tyrann effects, Gun Beast Brood, just hanging about, shooting stuff. Flying Hive Tyrant had the uh, Fight Race ability that it could come in from reserves, or it could le leave in their shooting phase and come in from uh, uh, reserves, like ongoing reserves. So he did, and Bubble wrapped that objective where the stern guards were, and then he shot them to pieces, I think. <laughs> um, that was pretty nasty. I actually liked the, f uh, sky, uh, the formation with the gargoyles, um, so especially if you don't want to be flying. You can still move 12 inches. So I, I think that they've given up by now. Um, there's not much they can do and we're ahead in points. So they just call it quits. It was a pretty good game, uh, a bit unbalanced because of the Necrons, Ketan and stuff like that. Um, but it was nice. Epic handshake. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, like, subscribe!